Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my foundation routine and I'm really excited about that because I've learned so many little tricks along the way that I get to share with you guys now. So, <laughs> um, I use Cinema Secrets, so I'll show you how it looks. It's just a little thing like that. And um, you can use it as a concealer, you can use this foundation, it covers everything. You People use it for tattoos on movie sets to cover them up. And it's awesome stuff. You can get it online. Um, I don't know what the site is. Maybe it's like cinemasecrets.com or something. But just Google it if you're interested. So I already put a, a moisturizer on my face. And it's your choice if you want to use a foundation primer. But I'm going to get started here. So I'm going to be using three different foundation colors, as weird as that is. So I'm going to be using this one, which is a yellow undertone foundation. I'm going to be using this. It's more pink slash peachish color. I don't know if you can tell by the lighting. And then I'm going to be using this one right here. So it may seem kind of scary right now, but just watch and you can learn how I do this. <laughs> okay, so first to get started, um, you, well you have to find the right match for your skin obviously. So a lot of people when they go to the store, they try to find it, they match it to their cheeks, it's like they find the perfect color, but a lot of the time your cheeks can be a different color than the rest of your skin. So I, I don't know if you could tell in the lighting, but mine tend to be more red. So if I went to a store and matched it against my cheeks, I would go home with a pink foundation and it would not match the rest of my skin. So you want to just kind of, you could even test it out on your uh, foundation color on your neck to see if it might be better because uh, redness and that kind of thing doesn't really go to your neck as much as it would to your cheeks and your face. So, I have more of a yellow undertone skin tone, so I'm going to be applying the foundation right now. And I'm just using one of these, a brush that's this size. A lot of the time you see girls with a harsh orange line near their jawline so you kind of want to blend it down blend it down onto your neck so you can avoid having that unflattering look <laughs> okay so I'm done uh, applying the foundation I I avoided going around my eyes and on my eyelids because I'm saving that for the concealer that I'm gonna be using right now so now I'm gonna be using the pink one I, I showed you guys earlier well it's more of a pinky peach color which is best for concealing dark circles and I'm using this size brush. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush, whatever you prefer. And then you're going to want to get right in the corner too, because usually the color is a little bit darker in there. And what I like doing is um, I like kind of bringing it down right above the cheekbone. It will create a nice effect in the end. And a little trick I like to do too is uh, with the concealer, I'll go right above the eyebrow because once you put that concealer above it, it kind of defines your eyebrow shape a lot better. Okay, so the next color we're going to be doing is that brownish color that I showed you earlier, right there. So I'm going to take my foundation brush and get a little bit on there. So it looks a little bit crazy right now, but <laughs> it's going to look a lot better in a sec. You'll see why. And then you're just going to wipe off this brush, and then you're going to blend it, and it's going to create a nice kind of sun-kissed glow look. You can put a little bit around your face. You can do it around your chin, just so brings the whole look together, and it's a nice sun kissed look. So that completes the look for the foundation routine for flawless skin. And now you just want to powder. I'm just using a Clinique blended face powder, and you can use um, you can use a brush or a powder puff, I guess. <laughs> but I'm going to use this just because I like pressing it down around my eyes because sometimes with cream foundations, 
In concealers, it will tend to crease if you don't powder it, so I like to just press it down in there. Okay, so the look is now completed for the foundation, the Flawless Skin Foundation Routine. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe and keep the requests coming. Okay, thanks guys.